Welcome to the very first actual video on the Linux for Everyone YouTube channel, and welcome home. My job and my curiosity, it compels me to distro hop a lot. You know, endlessly trying out new desktop Linux distributions to see what's new and shiny and learn stuff along the way. So to kick things off, here's a series suitable for beginners who want to make switching distros as fast and painless as possible. In this video, I'll show you how to create a simple bash script for installing all of your favorite software right after that clean install. And we don't even have to use the command line. So what is a bash script? Basically, it's a text file that contains a series of commands. It's a great way to automate things that would otherwise get pretty tedious. In my case, I have a ton of staple software that I like to have no matter what PC or what Linux distribution I'm using. Now sure, I could go to the software store and install them one by one, but let's streamline that process, yeah? For this example, I'll be using Peppermint 10, a great all-around distribution based on Ubuntu LTS. So these instructions should work on any Ubuntu-based system. First, let's fire up our text editor. Just hit your menu or super key and type gedit or your text editor of choice. So every bash script starts with this string and it pretty much begins any Unix-based script. Now add a new line and use the hash symbol to comment out this line and add a description of what the script does. This is basically just for your own reference. Now, we're going to enter some commands just like we're using a terminal. To install software in a terminal, we use sudo apt and then the software package's name, which you'll need to know. For this video, I'm going to install Audacity, VLC, Steam, Mumble, and Snapd, which lets you add canonical Snap packages to the system. If you're using Ubuntu, you probably already have this pre-installed. But why Snaps? Well, because I want the version of OBS Studio that includes NVIDIA's NV Ink encoder so I can make these videos. There are also Spotify Snap, Slack, Discord, and a ton of other apps available. Okay, see that double ampersand, which is also known as the AND symbol? That tells the script to execute one command right after the other. It also tells the script to stop if something goes wrong. If you used a single ampersand, the script would continue even if the first command failed. Next. All you have to do is save the file to a location of your choice. But before we run this script, we have to make it executable. Now, back in the old days, you had to do this in the terminal. But, you know, we're living in the 21st century now. So let's just use the desktop like normal people. Right-click your script, choose Properties. Go to the Permissions tab and check the box that says Allow Executing File as a Program. And when you're ready, simply right-click that script, choose Open, and then run in terminal. All you'll have to do is enter your password and you're off and running. All the apps in your script will be installed and they'll get updated automatically right along with your system updates. Pretty nice. You can do a lot with bash scripts like adding repositories or third-party software, but this is just a nice, easy way to get all your favorites installed without any fuss. In the next video, I'll show you how to make distro hopping even easier by automatically backing up your important documents, including this script, and easily restoring them on your freshly installed OS. Thanks a ton for watching, and remember that subscribing to this channel also gets you the Linux for Everyone podcast. Do whatever you want with that notification bell and the like and dislike buttons. You have free will after all. Until next time, take care, and take care of each other.